Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to Reseller Toolkit. So today we are going to be reviewing these Air Plus Air Cushions or Air Pillows for the use in shipping and packaging of course. And I actually ordered a few items off Amazon and these came in the package and I thought well it ties along with the theme so I will actually review these very quickly as well. So these are made of I believe 50% yeah 50% uh, recyclable material however that line there doesn't really um, it doesn't it's not worded very well it says made of minimum 50% recycle doesn't really sound like a sentence that but okay surely it should be made of minimum 50% recyclable material or something I'm not sure but anyway I wanted to give you my stance on these now I have used these only when I have got them for free I would say that there are better packaging options out there for your money now I think you can get these in lots of 100 or lots of 200 and I believe that they come in a little bit more expensive than if you were getting certain bubble wrap or if you were getting other packaging materials. It's not to say that these aren't effective, they are an effective packaging material and I always do love using them when I get them for free but I can get better packaging material or I can get basically more for my money but still good quality packaging material out there and I can get more of it for my money essentially. Now it's a good company this Air Plus, there's a few different companies who do these, um, obviously these air, air pillows, I'm sure there's many many companies out there actually who do these air pillows um, but this is one of the better companies, this is one of the more well known companies. The good thing about these is that you can actually tear them, so obviously I've teared this one away from this one here and you may get them, I'm not sure because I've never actually bought them, but I'm assuming that you'll get them in one big long strip and then you will just tear them off as and when you need them. So the good thing is that you can tear them into you know, one or two or five of them or however many you need to fill a specific space, which is quite good. They always do pack things in quite tightly. Now, packing things in quite tightly is normally good. However, sometimes if you pack things in really, really tightly, it can sometimes lead to damaging the item anyway. It's a little bit paradoxical, I know, but it can sometimes happen. Um, so generally with these, what I try and do is avoid packing them in really, really tight and just kind of pack them in fairly tight, but just not too tight. I don't want to obviously put tons and tons and tons of added pressure on the item underneath. So you have got to be careful with that, but obviously if you just Tuck, tuck these little ones into the nooks and crannies if you obviously maybe lay a couple of sheets on top as well if that's not going to be too tight um, then you should be all right so with these I would recommend obviously looking around for other packaging materials however I will leave the link down below and then you can obviously go over to the Amazon page and just have a look for yourself and maybe do a bit of comparison a few comparisons with other packaging materials and see for yourself, formulate your own opinion on whether you want to buy these or whether you'd like to buy something else. There is also another, I think it's slightly more eco-friendly vari variant of these. They come in a green colour. I think it's Opus. I think the name is Opus. I don't know whether it's Opus Packaging or something like that. But I think it's O-P-U-S or something like that. Um, and I believe they're slightly more eco-friendly ones. And again, I think they're coming in at a similar price as these ones. Obviously, I will put the price at the start of this video when I do have a quick look on Amazon. I did have a quick look on Amazon the other day, but I've completely forgot the price. So I'll just edit it in um, at the start of this video and then you know. But yeah, you know, quite a standard packaging material. If you don't want to be dealing with as much plastic in your business, for me personally, I'm not incredibly eco-friendly or anything like that. I am thinking about incorporating a few more eco-friendly items into my business, but I know there are a lot of people at the moment who are really on this eco-friendly boards and uh, they want to get a lot more of a reduction in packaging in plastic sorry so if you are one of those people who really do want that then you may want to look at that opus uh, packaging or you may want to look at other um, methods of obviously being able to reduce your plastic as i say these are 50 percent recyclable but 
that's obviously not going to be enough for, for, for a lot of people so they will want more eco-friendly uh, stuff obviously so I will leave it there guys thank you very much for joining me on this very brief review um, as always any review suggestions are welcome just drop them down in the comments down below if you did like it then please do give it a like and if you haven't already please do subscribe to the channel and with that being said I will leave it there and I'll see you in the next one Thank you.